gastric cancer is the second leading cause of cancer-related mortality worldwide. The majority of gastric cancers are diagnosed late. The five-year survival rate is about 25%. The majority of gastric cancers are preceded by clearly recognizable precursors. Can screening and surveillance help reduce incidence and mortality? The identification of H. pylori infection and lower grades of premalignant lesions does not justify surveillance because most often they do not progress to gastric cancer. Recent guidelines recommend surveillance of patients with extensive atrophic gastritis, intestinal metaplasia or dysplasia. The location, severity and extent of any precancerous lesions, especially of intestinal metaplasia, are indicators of the risk of developing gastric carcinoma. For instance, premalignant lesions found in the corpus and those at multiple locations have a higher risk of progression to gastric cancer. Also, the risk is highest in patients with diffuse intestinal metaplasia. For these indicators to be reliable, a uniform biopsy sampling protocol and a uniform reproducible histological grading system must be applied. Then hold it all aimed to identify the locations, severity and extent of premalignant lesions in a group of patients previously diagnosed with atrophic gastritis, intestinal metaplasia or low-grade dysplasia, applying a well-known classification and scoring system and extensive biopsy protocol. Their secondary aim was to compare the diagnosis of an expert pathologist with those of general pathologists. The authors invited 140 patients with a previous diagnosis of atrophic gastritis, intestinal metaplasia or low-grade dysplasia for surveillance endoscopy with a non-targeted biopsy sampling. Biopsy specimens were evaluated by pathologists, four general and one expert, using the Sydney and the operative link for gastric intestinal metaplasia OLGIM systems and the scores were compared using CAPA statistics. They found that 6% of premalignant lesions showed progression. Intestinal metaplasia in the corpus was most likely to progress to more than one location. It was the premalignant lesion most frequently identified in subsequent endoscopies. Diagnostic agreement between the pathologists was perfect for intestinal metaplasia. The authors conclude that intestinal metaplasia is the important marker for follow-up of patients with premalignant gastric lesions. <laughs>